Joining us, we are learning new details about the events leading up to the shooting death of General Hospital actor Johnny Wachter. Police say the actor had just finished work Saturday night when he was confronted by three suspects who were attempting to steal the catalytic converter from his parked car. KTLA's Jennifer McGraw spoke to the actor's former fiance and joins us live in downtown LA with more. Jennifer. Mike and Cher, absolutely heartbreaking. His friends say that Johnny was a good person. He was honest, hardworking, and sadly, he died on his way home from work. A routine theft in downtown LA, this time claiming the life of a beloved actor, friend, and once upon a time, a fiance. Still kind of in shock. It's just, I can't believe this happened to him. Tessa Farrell is devastated, speaking out after learning of the shooting death of Johnny Wachter. On Saturday, he was walking a co-worker to her car at the end of their bartending shift when he came upon three men attempting to steal his catalytic converter. They shot and killed him and took off. Tessa believes Johnny is just the latest victim of a failed system. It's so tragic and sad that our city is letting this happen, and it's even more sad that it takes losing someone like Johnny for us to hopefully take this more seriously. I mean, this has been a problem for many years now and it's escalating and it's been escalating and we need to do something about it. And these people are still out there and they probably could have been in jail before and got put back on the street. No doubt crime is on the rise and the theft of catalytic converters is roughly 400 a month in Los Angeles, according to data collected from Crosstown LA. Thieves scrap it and use it for a quick buck. Mayor Karen Bass addressing the issue. That has been a, an absolute trend, the stealing of catalytic converters. And I know that we need to deal with that. And I believe that our city council has taken action. So I, my heart goes out to him and his family. Johnny's main role was an actor on General Hospital. On Saturday, friends say he shielded a coworker from gunfire, saying that's just the kind of man he was, selfless among so much more. I mean, he was so kind and so giving and so loving to everyone who knew him. His fans, he was so active with his fans and just such a loving, caring soul. And I'm so sad that we lost him in this way. You know, it's just, it's a conversation I never thought I would ever have. The LAPD is asking for the public's help. This happened Saturday morning around 3.30 on the intersection of 12th and Hope. If you have some information, contact police. Live in downtown LA, Jennifer McGraw, KTLA 5 News. Jennifer, thank you. The 